I'm trying a thing with the hair. It's all on one side. I wanted you to see the pocket. Really, this is a pajama shirt, but clearly I've given up on life. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And I'm kind of losing it. Like it has been a week, it has been a month, it has just it has been something. But sales are pretty decent, so there is that. In my personal life, just to kind of catch you up to speed, um, my governor just announced that we are continuing our shelter in place until the end of April. So if it doesn't continue after that, we won't be going back to school until basically May. But who knows at this point, especially given the state that everything is in within our nation and, you know, obviously worldwide as well. So first and foremost, I do hope that all of you are staying home. I hope that all of you are staying safe and healthy and that you are staying as sane as I am in your own homes. It's just, it's been crazy. I am a full-time high school choir teacher and I, I feel like I have a pretty difficult job. Like I feel like it's hard teaching where I teach and teaching the students that I teach. I teach in a pretty high poverty area. Um, I think like more than 60% of my students receive free or reduced lunch. Um, it's super diverse, all that kind of stuff. But being at home with two little ones, with like an almost three year old and a six year old, that is that is something else. Like I would take my cussing, screaming, emotional high schoolers any day over this. Like this is crazy. They are so much fun, do not get me wrong. I love being home with them, but it's also so hard. And I don't know how to advance their academic learning because <laughs> I don't like how many times should I say the ABCs with my almost three year old? You know, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fairly certain that they're getting dumber and dumber by the minute, but homegirl's doing the best that she can. But you're not here to hear me ramble on about how I'm doing in quarantine or about, you know, what's going on with my hair. I just, like I said, I shoved it all over onto one side so that you can get this flash of red. But um, we're gonna talk about my sales for the last week of March. And we're also going to talk about just how I did in the month of March in general, which I was actually a little bit surprised by. So let's get started. So on March 23rd, which was a Monday, I did not have any Poshmark sales, but I did have a handful of eBay sales. The first thing was this Fashion Nova Man floral striped button up shirt in a size extra large. This sold for $9. He sent me an offer for $9 and I was more than happy to take it. He paid for shipping. I made $7.31 off of that shirt. I don't know where this man thinks he's going in this shirt. Like, I feel like the only suitable place to wear this shirt is clubbing. No, but like, are there any clubs open in the United States? I don't understand. I hope he's having a good time in this shirt. <laughs> like, I'm sure you guys, I'm like in the weirdest mood right now. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be like extra giggly and ridiculous. So you've been warned. But yeah, so he bought it and he's wearing it at home, hopefully. And that's cool. I got this in um, a recent haul that I did. I was at a Salvation Army, not in my town, but somewhere else for like five and a half hours. And this was one of the things that I walked away with, mainly because I wanted to see how Fashion Nova for Men does. And it does $9 is what it does. So probably not gonna pick that up again. Probably just not gonna pick up Fashion Nova in general um, up again, but it sold and it sold pretty quickly. It was only listed for maybe like a couple weeks or something like that. And then the next thing to sell on eBay was this Sonoma, which I believe is a Kohl's brand, vegan leather, which means it's fake leather, brown casual lace-up boots in a size 12. These actually were from my theater director at school and it was part of our big, you know, we're trying to raise money to send kids to nationals, which by the way, got moved to becoming like this online thing, so I don't, I don't really know all the details. But those boots sold for $22 and I had them pay for shipping, although I had to pay like 23 cents more for shipping than what I had charged him. And I would have made $17.87 on these pair of boots. However, he wanted to return them because he said that they were too small. So those are on their way back to me. That is totally fine. I do put free shipping on all of my eBay items just because I don't want people stuck with stuff that they don't actually want and I don't want people making up reasons to return something if they are really 
insistent that they return said item. I feel like there are a lot of incidences where, is that a word, incidences? Incidents. There are a lot of incidents. That sounds better. There are a lot of incidents where people don't accept returns and then I feel like people turn to like damaging the item in order to try to turn it into an item not as described case or things like that. And so again, I'd rather just not have the person be stuck with something that they don't want. So I'm okay with returns, it happens. I return stuff when I buy it from the store too. So it's a part of retail. The next thing and final thing to sell on Monday the 23rd was this Free People flowy striped flowy tank with like a braided racer bag. This was actually given to me by Courtney from Common Tags when we did our holiday swap box. And it's probably one of the last things from that swap box to sell. And it has gotten a ton of attention. It's just so lightweight and almost like insignificant is not the right word, but it's just so lightweight. I think people were like, why do I have to pay so much for shipping, especially on Poshmark? So it made sense that it sold on eBay and I only charged $3 for shipping and it didn't even cost that much. It cost $2.78 to ship out because it was literally like four ounces. But this sold for $14.90. That was an offer that I sent out. And so after shipping and all of that, I ended up making $12.79. So Courtney, thanks again so much for sending that my way. It was really cute and really fun to have in my closet. All right, moving on to Tuesday the 24th. I had one sale over on Poshmark and it was in my four for $25 sale. And it was this pair of new with tags, New York and company cropped white jeans in a size 12. I got an offer on these for $13, which I accepted super happily because I think I've had these for over a year. I don't remember where I got them. I wanna say at the bins, but I'm not 100% sure but I've had them for a really long time. So I was super happy to let them go. I made $10 and five cents, see you later. And then on eBay, I did have a couple sales. The first was this Hollister green polo shirt in a size small. This sold for $11.99, which I believe was an offer. I don't think that that was my original price. And I didn't send out offers to watchers on it because when I do, I end it in like a you know 90 cent amount because I wanna know that it was as a result of me sending out offers to watchers. So someone must have sent me an offer of $11.99, which is cool. It did also sell via promoted listings. So I made $9.67. I recently bought like a huge lot of clothes off of a friend of mine. He had all of this stuff and I just kind of went through it and calculated how much I thought I would make off of his stuff and then offered him an amount for everything. And he was like more than happy to get anything for it because he was like, I was just gonna donate this stuff anyway. And so, you know, we both win in that sense. So I've slowly been starting to sell off his stuff. It's a lot of more like super basic things like polo shirts and button up shirts for men who, you know, work in an office setting or anything like that. But getting like a big amount of inventory like that at once is really great. So I'm always on the hunt for, you know, those kinds of opportunities. I actually have another friend of mine from church who is going to be dropping off a bunch of stuff on my front porch soon. And um, I'm really excited about his stuff because he said he's got like Patagonia and he's just got a lot of really great stuff because he's like super into fashion. And he has recently lost a ton of weight, which is why he has all this stuff that he just can't wear anymore because it doesn't fit him. So again, make sure you tell people what you do. And then the last thing to sell on eBay on Tuesday the 24th was this pair of Loft Factory Taupe Chino shorts in a size zero. These I just had out to auction on eBay with the starting bid of $2.99. It got the one bid, I had them pay for shipping. I made $3.27 on that because I had them pay a little too much for shipping. But something that Hugo from Sell Quick Ship Quick said in their recent like ship with me video that really resonated with me because I think sometimes, you know, we as as people who sell on eBay will give like a flat price that people need to pay for shipping. And sometimes it is a little over the amount that it costs to ship the item out. But Hugo in that video was like, yeah, but they're also paying for the supplies. And I was like, a uh, duh, like, yes, that makes so much sense because when you are shipping stuff out, you know, especially like sometimes they're shipping out these crazy things. Like in that video, they were shipping out this guitar that was signed by Dave Matthews band and stuff like that. And like, he spent like a crazy amount of time and supplies shipping that thing out because he wanted to make sure that it was safe and that nothing happened to it in transit, which makes sense. But even when we're just shipping out clothes, it's like, we still have to use, in my case, compostable mailers. You know, I have like thank you cards in there. so. 
I'm not trying to make money off of charging too much for shipping because I'm never trying to charge too much. I'm trying to charge around exactly how much it's going to cost. But every once in a while, I end up charging a little too much. And every once in a while, I end up charging not enough. So it all really balances out in the end. But that made me feel a lot better about those times when maybe I do overcharge on shipping just a little bit that, okay, well, it's for the supplies. And I do also, like I said, make up for it later with the fact that I do undercharge sometimes as well so anyway that I ended up making three dollars and 27 cents off of so that's cool and those I don't remember where I got them I I want to say I got them for free from someone at church because they are in her size and kind of in the same style as the other stuff that she's given me so I'm pretty sure that that was given to me for free and then on the 25th which was a Wednesday I had no Poshmark sales but on eBay I did have a shirt sell that I couldn't find and I was really debating whether or not to put that in this video but you know this is all about my reseller journey and with the good comes the really crappy like this like you sell something and you cannot find it anywhere in your house and it was this chalet I don't know if I'm saying that right. 100% linen white scoop neck shirt in a size small. And I had sent out offers to watchers on this for $9.90, had them pay for shipping. And I looked in every single bin in my house where I keep inventory and it wasn't there. I have a feeling that I sent it to someone for free because I saw that they had liked it and I just like added it to their bundle. And I just forgot to delete it from my Poshmark closet and eBay store. When I did that, I don't know like how else it could have gone missing. So I messaged the buyer and I said, this is what happened, I can't find it. Do you want to replace it with something else? Like I will let you replace it with something up to this dollar amount in my eBay store for the inconvenience or we can just cancel. And she was like, let's just cancel. I just really wanted like a white linen shirt. And I was like, I totally get you, I'm so sorry. And I canceled the transaction. So again, like I didn't have to share that with you because I'm sure that there are gonna be some comments of people being like, well, you should keep better track of your inventory. You're right, I should. But I also wanted to, like I said, make sure that you know that this kind of stuff happens every once in a while. The next thing to sell on eBay was Sibelius 5, which is a musical notation software. I have actually used the software myself, not like the one that I sold, but the software in general. Um, and I used it to notate out arrangements for like my acapella groups or to write little like exercises, like sight reading exercises for my classes or to write out portions of my test where I needed notes. I had a friend who used to teach music drop off like three bins of stuff that he had used as a music teacher that he just didn't need anymore because he wasn't teaching music anymore. Some of that stuff, like some of it was brand new instruments, things like recorders or like those shaker things. And I sent them into Amazon and they sold right away. And then some things were like books and sheet music and stuff like that. So this was in one of those bins and I listed it probably a week ago and it sold within a week because people are stuck at home I guess and maybe someone wanted to notate some music so now they can. This sold for $19.99 which was my full asking price. Um, I had them pay for shipping and I ended up making $19.32 off of that and that did ship media mail which I didn't realize it would do that so um, that was pretty exciting. That takes us to Thursday March 26th. I did have one sale on Poshmark and it was this pair of American Eagle Extreme Flex Slim Fit Black Jeans in a size 34. These sold for $20 and I made $16 off of those. I think I picked those up at the Play-Doh's 90% off clearance sale so they haven't been in my closet for too long and they sold for a decent amount. And then on eBay, I sold this pair of Cabby Slim Boyfriend Patchwork Mid-Rise Jeans in a size zero. These were in a pretty recent haul of mine. They were from a consignment store in the same complex where my kids do gymnastics and they sold for $28 and that was via an offer sent to me. I believe I only had them listed for like $32, so that was really great. And I had them pay for shipping. I definitely undercharged on this one because I thought that they would be under a pound but they were not so I had to pay more to put them in a padded flat rate envelope so I ended up making $20.69 off of that sale which I was still super happy about the next thing to sell was the smart wool anchor line shirt jacket with a snap front in a size extra large this is like one of those things I don't know that I would have been drawn to it if I were out thrifting 
I don't get it. Like, I don't really get the aesthetic of this, but this actually belonged to a mother of one of my students and she had donated it for the big silent auction that we were doing. And I had pulled a few things that I knew were just gonna be like too bulky to put in a lot or something like that. And she was like, this is really expensive. And when I bought it, it was like $300 or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So it sold for $65 pretty quickly, probably within the span of like two or three weeks. I was able to get it in a padded flat rate envelope. I did have them pay for shipping. So I ended up making $55 and 76 off of this. And 76 off of this. But that is gonna go to my theater program. And then on Friday the 27th, I only had one sale and it was on Poshmark and it was this pair of bullhead black joggers in a size small. These sold for $30 and I made $24 profit off of those. Those were again from that same thrift haul when I was at a Salvation Army for five and a half hours. And I actually have two more pairs of these also in a size small, but they are in like this brownish khaki color. So it was just really interesting that I found three of the same pairs of pants all at the same time. So they're probably all from the same person. I just don't know why he also had two in the same color, but not complaining. So that was a good sale. And then on Saturday, the 28th, I had one sale on Poshmark and it was this pair of Lululemon Run Speed shorts with a four-way stretch in a size four. These sold for $30 and I made $24 off of those. That was given to me for free by a friend at church um, I think the same friend that gave me those Loft Factory Taupe Chino shorts. So $24 of pure profit. I am all about that. And then on eBay, my first sale was this Vince 100% silk black Georgette blouse in a size eight. It had this beautiful contrast trim to it. And I got it at a pop-up consignment sale that happens twice a year. So I've had, I have had this for like half of a year, which is a little bit longer than I thought I was going to have it. I probably had it overpriced a little bit, but I sent out offers to watchers on it on eBay for $29.90, which someone accepted. So I ended up making $26.71 after having them pay for shipping. And that like practically weighed nothing because you know, it's a silk blouse. So it only cost me $2.78 to ship out. And then the last thing to sell on eBay was this pair of American Eagle plaid pull on PJ pants in a size small. They sold for $14.99, which I think was my full asking price and I had them pay for shipping. I made $13.19. That did also sell via promoted listings. And then on Sunday, the 29th, I sold this pair of new with tags, Keen Targi 3 WP leather hiking boots in a size seven, and that's a men's seven. So these are a little bit on the smaller side for men. I think my dad wears a size seven though. I got these retail arbitrage at a local store in my town that sells like outdoor Z type stuff. And so they sold for $89, which I was super happy with. And I made $71 and 20 cents off of those. And that was from someone sending me an offer. The next thing to sell was this pair of day trip Aries dark wash skinny jeans in a size 25 long. These also came from the same friend that gave me the Lululemon shorts and the loft shorts. These someone sent me an offer on for $12, which I was more than happy to accept. So I made $9.05. I don't know if you guys have a lot of good luck with brands like day trip. I think day trip is buckle. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, it's like some buckle jeans do really well. And then some it's like, Meh, whatever. The next thing to sell was this, the North face green laptop backpack with like a camo print. And it was like the recon backpack. It was really cool. And it had really hardly been used. It was from the same family who gave me that smart wool jacket. So they just had a lot of great brands that were like kind of these outdoorsy brands like smart wool and the North face and all that kind of stuff. So this one, someone liked the item and that day was a closet clear out day. So I sent her my closet clear out message and I had asked her if I dropped the price from $38 to $32, if she would, you know, be okay with that, knowing that Poshmark would pay for a portion of the shipping. And she was like, what if we did 30? Like this is for my son and he's going to help pay for it and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, that sounds totally great. So I made $24 off of that backpack, which is going to go to my theater department. And then the last thing to sell on Poshmark was this pair of Old Navy 
olive green drawstring shorts. These were in my four for $25 sale. They were in a size one, so it's like junior sizing. And same thing, like these I think were marked at $12 in my Poshmark closet. And like I said, they were in my four for $25 sale. I sent them a closet clear out message saying I can drop the price to $10 and Poshmark will pay for a portion of the shipping. Would you be interested in that? She said, yes ma'am. So I made $7.05 off of those shorts, which were given to me for free. And then the last thing to sell was on eBay and it was this Victoria's Secrets window pane pajama set in a size medium. They've been in my Poshmark closet for over a year and I cross listed them to eBay probably like half a year ago. So it's, it's been a minute. Um, they sold for $19.99, which I think was my full asking price. And I had them pay for shipping. I made $16.74. But I just got my least favorite notification on eBay maybe like two hours ago saying that she would like to return the item because it was too big on her. So again, it's fine. Returns happen. I did all my calculations about the week before I got notice of that return. And so I, the numbers that I give you will be a little skewed and I'll try to like subtract it in my head, but y'all know how good I am at mathing. So I just know that like whatever numbers I give you, I actually made $16 and 74 cents less because I did not account for those returns. So let's talk stats really quickly. On Poshmark, I sold eight items and I made $185 and 35 cents. On eBay, I sold 12 items but really only was able to profit off of 10, well now nine of them because one I couldn't find, one was a return, and then we just learned of the other return as well. So my calculations here are about the 10 sales that I made and I made $185.45, which is 10 cents more than I made on Poshmark. So that brings us a total of 18 items sold with a total of $370.80, which is more like $350. Six dollars is that right? I don't know, which is still so much better than I thought I would be doing this week, given how last week was not very good, and also given the fact that our nation is kind of in shambles right now like it's it's pretty rough. I'm not like an economics buff, but I know from reading enough news that it's pretty bad and it's like the worst it's ever been in many ways. For example, unemployment is the highest that we've ever seen. Stocks are taking a huge hit. And this is not just in the United States, this is worldwide, like worldwide, we are going through something crazy economically. So kind of the last thing I was expecting was for people to continue shopping on platforms like Poshmark and eBay, but people still need clothes and maybe they're just looking for better deals now. So maybe that's why they are turning to secondhand options like eBay and Poshmark, I don't know. And I know a lot of people have been asking and wondering, you know, do you get a lot more lowball offers? Um, I would say some of the offers that I got this week were kind of on the lowball side and there were definitely some that I had to like counter with back and forth or like lowball offers that I would counter and they would ghost me after that. But I also got a lot of really reasonable offers. So I don't know, like it didn't really feel that different of a week for me compared to some other weeks that I've had. So I don't know. And then on my end, I know that all I can really do is keep listing and staying consistent on my end because if we are gonna take a hit as resellers, I don't wanna only like make that worse by not doing the things that I know I need to be doing on my end to make sales. So on my end, I'm just trying to be as consistent as possible with listing and um, cross listing and doing all of those things. So that's really all we can do right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then just to talk a few more stats from the week and then we'll talk about March in general, but I sold 10 women's items eight men's items, one hard good, I'll call it, in the form of that Sibelius music notation software, three accessories and shoes, two like PJ type things, four pairs of jeans and three pairs of shorts. I thought the four pairs of jeans was actually pretty interesting because I don't feel like I sell that many jeans, but to sell four pairs in one week, that was interesting. And people are obviously shopping for shorts and stuff now. And I think that as a lot of people are stuck at home and they don't really have anywhere to go or anything to do, I think a lot more people are going outside and at least like going for walks and stuff and trying to just make sure that they're still being active and trying to you know be as healthy as they can be. 
My family goes out for a walk like basically every day that there's sun and every day that we won't freeze while we're out there. And we just go for a walk around our neighborhood. The kids hang out in this wagon and we like pull them. Sometimes they'll pull us. But like today we were outside and there were so many people out. Like everyone is outside just walking. And you know, if you're about to like cross paths with someone, like everyone's really good about like moving to the street or just moving so that we're still six feet apart. So I think that that's maybe why a lot of people are buying shorts and workout wear and stuff like that. So if you have spring, summer clothes, make sure that you're listing that because obviously like those are the seasons that we're heading into, but also like that's what people need when they're outside. So when it comes to March and meeting my goals and all that kind of stuff, as some of you know, my goal for the year 2020 is to make $20,000 in profit before my cost of goods. I've calculated that in order to do that, I need to make $1,666.66 each month. So for the past couple months, like January and February, I have surpassed that goal of $1,666.66. Um, January, not by much. And February, I like almost did $1,000 more than I needed to. So this month, I did not hit my goal for the month. I only made $1,611.09. I'm totally cool with it. Like, I'm totally okay with it. I'm still definitely on track to meet my $20,000 goal. Where I'm sitting right now, I've made $5,862.14 for the year, which puts me at 29% of my goal. And I only need to be at 25% of my goal. So I'm still doing really well. And like sales this week so far, I'm filming on a Wednesday. So sales this week have not been like amazing, but I think that they'll still be decent for it being like the first week of the month. And I don't know, like I'm really okay with how things are going with my reselling business, especially like I said, given what is happening in the nation and in the world. I'm not like in this place where I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need to make as much money as I can, but it is giving me an opportunity to list my death pile and it's giving me an opportunity to even like try new things with my business. And then for whatever reason, I did not really have an ending to this video. So here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and seeing what I sold at the end of March, then make sure that you hit that like button on your way out. And if you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe, making good decisions. Please look out for one another and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey everyone, my name is Becky Park. I am a Poshmark and Mercari part-time reseller. What? Merc <laughs> Okay. <laughs>